that, that passage in, in my statement this morning um, referenced uh, the most foundational concept in America, which is the rule of law. Thus, as I interpret your question, you are asking about uh, that foundational truth of these United States, which we call America. The foundational truth is the rule of law. That foundational truth is for the United States of America the profound truth. But it's not merely the profound truth for the United States. It's also the simple truth, the simple foundational truth of the American Republic. Thus, in my view, uh, the hearings being conducted by this select committee are examining that profound truth, namely the rule of law in the United States of America. The specific question, of course, before you and before the nation, not before me, is whether that foundational rule of law was supremely violated on January 6, 2021. Now, to the question specifically that you asked, Madam Vice Chair, I believe that had Vice President Pence obeyed the orders from his president and the president of the United States of America during the joint session of the Congress of the United States on January 6, 2021 and declared Donald Trump the next President of the United States, notwithstanding that then President Trump had lost the Electoral College vote as well as the popular vote in the 2020 presidential election. Um, that declaration of Donald Trump as the next president would have plunged America into what I believe would have been tantamount to a revolution within a constitutional crisis in America, which in my view, and I'm only one man, would have been the first constitutional crisis 
since the founding of the Republic.